Tigers hosted the Nationals. The Nationals are minus 116 on the money line. The Tigers are minus 102. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Nationals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 136, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Tigers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 164, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one. You win. The weather for tomorrow's game is supposed to be 73 degrees with five mile an hour winds blowing in and no rain. Neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. Head to head, the Nationals are on a two game winning streak. The Nationals are six and four against the Tigers in their last 10. The home team is 6-4. The favorite has won the last four games they've played against each other. The favorite is 8-2 on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs are 5-5. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The over is 6-4, and and the over at 8.5 runs is also 6-4. The Nationals are 2-3 in Parker's last five starts. They've lost his last two starts. The under is hitting his last two starts. The under is 3-2 in his last five starts. Six innings pitched, 4.8 hits, 2.8 earned runs, 4.6 strikeouts, 1.4 walks, 0.8 home runs. He's given up a home run in four out of his last five starts. 89 pitches, 15.1 pitches per inning. The last outing that he had, he only threw 71 pitches. That was uh, the fewest in his last five. For the Tigers, they are 3-2 in Maeda's last five starts, but they've lost his last two starts as well. The overs hit in his last two, and the overs 3-2 in those starts. Three and a third innings pitched, 4.2 hits, 2.6 earned runs, 2.6 strikeouts, one walk, 0.6 home runs, 59.8 pitches, 15.1 uh, pitches per inning. The last game that he pitched in, he threw two pitches and then was taken out. Interesting enough. The Nationals are on a three-game winning streak. They're three and one in their last four. Seven runs, three runs, 10 runs, 13 runs. Two runs and a loss, two runs and a win. Seven runs and a win, eight runs and a win. For the Tigers, they're five and five in their last 10. One and three in their last four. 10 runs, 10 runs, nine runs, 12 runs. One run and a loss, shut out and a loss, four runs and a loss, and then 10 runs and a win. And just to double check, neither one of these teams play today, so we'll see how it happens for tomorrow. I'm going to take the Nationals with the money line. I'll take the Nationals laying the runs, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.